Hello and welcome to the EEPROM 9 and we have the Electron uh, Portable project that we currently have uh, setting up to demonstrate in the bedroom because, um, well, the workshop is a mess. Case in point, you're not going to be setting anything up on here anytime soon. We have, however, run into a problem. While we've got basically the basis of the case built and all put together and working, and the motherboard mounted and the CRT module mounted inside that uh, module, the actual circuit board and all that, we've come into a problem in that, well, look at the display. If I could get the screwdriver in the right place. Nope. There we go, so we can knock down the brightness a bit, so it's not so obnoxiously bright. And we're just tap on the screen with a screwdriver because that pisses people off. Genuinely it does, it's quite hilarious. Just a gentle tap on the CRT. It might implode! But CRTs are tougher than that. The electron board is still working, as we can demo. Does the beep, all good, so he's happy. But we don't have anything on the screen, unfortunately, which is a shame because that sets us back somewhat because, well, we even need to fix that board and I I literally have no clue what's gone wrong with it. Or we need to find a replacement, but luckily um, replacements for these things because these like little five inch CRT televisions and whatnot are so cheap. I think I should just stock up on a load of them actually and just have a load in stock for when stuff like this happens and then I can transfer over the guts. The only thing is the guts are probably not going to be so nice and neatly small so yeah. We'll see if we can fix him because unfortunately the other module doesn't take, the other circuit board from the module this came from doesn't take a composite in. We still haven't really resolved the power supply issue of uh, how the hell are we going to get the monitor 17 volts and the uh, computer, the uh, plus and minus 5 volts. I'm going to use this and I'm thinking I'm just going to have to build a custom power supply that dumps 9 volts AC into this and 17 volts DC into this. <laughs> oh, the fun. But you can easily get that off an AC supply. The more challenging aspect is if I uh, go through the battery route, which, yeah. It's going to complicate to the power supply massively. But yeah, this is an annoying setback. But we can get past it. And yeah, the little elk motherboard in there with its um, solid state storage option is um, still good. Not that I know how to use him, but hey. <laughs> One thing at a time. I'll figure that out if... In fact, those of you who might recognise that module, if you can do a little like basic user guide on how the hell to um, get like the uh, tape images and that on there, and so it will actually load them, that'd be awesome. Because I had no luck when I tried; it failed miserably. But anyway, that's for when this thing's actually built. But we got the main chassis together; all is good. The electron portable is back in the being built because, well, why not? And we just got to figure out what the hell's going on with our lovely um, CRT module. Oh, the joys of using old, obsolete hardware. <laughs> this is why most people would use an LCD and fake it. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, what would this be? Part two? Probably. Thanks for watching and yeah. He looks cool, though. He looks super cool. I'm really happy of how this has come together. This is more of a minor annoyance. You know, hardware fails when it's this old. <laughs> At least it's not the tube. Tube. Th these tubes are unobtainium.